people this is not an advertisement but secretly it is warth under <laughs> uh is it maxor who does the warth under i can't remember if it's him or martin cedo pants uh, we've been there's been a whole slew of gamers that we've been introduced to here over the last couple years seth maxor martin cedo pants uh it's just the list goes on and on and i i'm very much happy with it i i'm i enjoy these creators and their content and everything and for those of you wondering why nick is yawning it is currently three in the morning i shouldn't be yawning because i slept like all day yes but also we just had a halloween party not this past night but the, the night, night before, before and then i've been recovering from it ever since it took a lot out of us and uh me i've only had i'd say about in the last four days about eight hours of sleep and i had a lot of sleep i just also had a lot of alcohol yes over and a long period of and time and he didn't drink enough water true yeah I, I just like uh, I didn't actually get fucked up at any point, but I stayed consistently drunk throughout the evening. <laughs> yes, you did. And just when I woke up this morning, I was just like, uh, "I'm going to go back to bed after I feed my kitty." Uh, and so I did. And then I woke up again, and I was like, "I think I'm okay now." And then like it got to the point where I was just like, about 30 minutes later, I'm still tired going to lay back down for just a view and I slept for like another like four hours yeah and I uh I was down here jamming with uh Jake Keith uh, well Keith and really didn't get a chance to jam because we were trying to record the last piece of that one song that we've been working on since last week mm. and uh yeah just the whole thing and then of course there's the cleanup duty that's gonna be happening here soon which Kate uh, has said that her and Kathan are going to take care of most of that. Oh, well, they're taking care of the decorations, apparently. Well, that's what I mean. Me and you have to take care of all the uh, leftover cups and dishes and drinks and well, stuff. Well, I figured that, but still, though, you know, I... I that's not bad. No, it's not terrible. I've dealt with my... And she was like, don't touch the decorations. I'm like, you don't have to tell me twice. Hey, it's not even Halloween yet, so they can stay up till Halloween as far as I'm concerned. I, yeah. And even past Although, bit, I will make one request. Be like, you know... The black just, lights. There's a lot more fucking decorations. I would wait, make one recommendation from them. Repla the, replace the black lights with real light bulbs. Yes, there. please. Yeah. I, it's too fucking dark in the house with those upstairs. Yes, it is. And I love black lights. I love, like, playing around with those and having a blast but there comes a time where it's just like can I just be able to see in my own house yeah but either way the War Thunder review by Seth Zintak is now up and at him and I figured why not let's give it a shot shall we hey hey people Seth here if I sound a little different it's because it's because you're having a psychotic episode. I sound exactly the same. It's the parasites eating at your brain which say otherwise. Gaslighting? Gaslighting isn't real. You're just crazy. Now, take your medication. Question, what did you want to be when you grew up? If you answered, I wanted to be trapped in a steel, sweaty container with three other men, then, oh boy, I got just the game for you. Yeah. That's, uh... That's quite the game. It's not what I asked for. <laughs> Emphasis on the game. World, World of War Thunder. War. <laughs> it's, it's basically the same thing. There's just planes. Uh, kind of. No, War Thunder encompasses all of it, basically. 
Hunter is an experience that I have subjected myself to for the better part of a decade. And much like an abusive stepfather, let's just say a little bit of War Thunder will always be with me, whether I like it or not. And now, like court-ordered alimony after years of parental neglect, they're giving me money. In exchange, I use foundation to cover the bruises and cigarette burns on my skin. And I tell everyone I know Jesus that, Christ, yeah, man. The dents on my head. Yeah. I was born with those. Let's go as dark as possible with that joke, isn't it? It was very dark. Jesus Christ. Well, probably not as possible, but it definitely going pretty far. Yes. <laughs> very, very far. Could have been worse, I guess. Let's not talk about that, though. Yeah, it could have been a little worse. Also, yeah, this is the tank aspect of it. That game, which is completely free on PC, Xbox Series X, and PlayStation 5. No purchase necessary, just download and play. And it's fully cross platform, which means if you're playing the correct platform, you get to dunk on console babies all day. Register today using my link and you get a bunch of free stuff. This is important because you're going to spend it on a premium Japanese plane so you can dominate rank one. I'm speaking from personal experience because that's exactly what I did. Okay, I'll tell you the real reason I'm doing this. They had to give me a press account, which means I get every vehicle for free temporarily, which is why I have to keep lying to their face regarding the status of this video. I don't care about the cash. This shit's worth more than anything they could ever pay me. What you <laughs> this is true. About it's the sponsorship true. Is that this is a hostage situation, because if you do not accept what I submit, I'm going to submit it anyway, and I'll make it worse. <laughs> that was a joke. Look, I'll do anything. I'll say anything. Just please let me keep the press account. Corporate blackmail wow. aside, I actually really like this game. To understand exactly how long I've played this garbage, I was here when it was just air combat, and even that was pretty sick. Later on, they expanded to tanks. More recently, they do naval combat as well. Basically, you get the choice between two ships. One is a several thousand ton Japanese destroyer. The other is a yacht. Sometimes, someone will pick the yacht. I shoot them, and they die. To this day, I have no idea why this is an option. Naturally, having so many different Different game modes calls for a seamless and intuitive control scheme. And if you're looking for that, you can fuck right off and play a different game. Firing and yep. all aspects. See, like, I literally downloaded this game and installed it. Opened the control options. Was looking through it and I was like... I'm not playing this. I was like, there is no logical way to set up a control scheme for this on mouse and keyboard that makes any fucking sense for flying a plane. And I was like, I'm not going to fucking play this. This is stupid. All right. <laughs> I, I will say this. Like, this was after just having finished Ace Combat, which admittedly is a very much more arcadey flight game. But I was just like, this arcadey flight game had so much more of a realistic like way that actually makes sense to set up controls that this game can go fuck itself. <laughs> this is why I, I play World of Tanks. And that's a lot of fun. Well, I mean, it doesn't take that many controls to control a tank, though. Mm, there's some stuff to it that it, it can be intuitive. But I also don't care you, about tanks. I want to fly planes. But I would say that then limit yourself to flying in this. But the flight controls are why I won't play it. They're garbage. They're absolute trash. All right. That's what I'm telling you. You mean you can't... You cannot tank. bind the flight controls in any sort of way that makes any sort of sense in this game. Hmm. That's why I wouldn't play it. Well, I guess adapt or die. Yeah, or don't play the game. <laughs> so die. I guess I didn't die though because I didn't boot the game up. <laughs> well, more likely you did. More like you didn't exist. Yeah, I was hey. never born in this game. There you go. Missile is three different keybinds. Fair enough. The key to dodge the aforementioned missile with countermeasures, unbound by default. Also, fair enough, but having a dedicated button on my keyboard by default to eject my spent missile casing so my plane can truly reach its full speed of one kilometer faster than before, that's where I draw the line. This isn't critique, it is praise. It subverts expectation and keeps you on your toes. I'm still waiting for the patch that rebinds mouse click 
Music to uh, authorize direct debit transfer to Gaijin Entertainment. I think when this finally <laughs> happens, gaming will truly peak as a medium. The general idea is pretty simple. Wow. Every vehicle in this game is an accurate, one-to-one -one historical reconstruction of a real thing, unless it comes from the Soviets, in which case you read whatever number they give you, divide that by ten, and arrive somewhere close to the truth. And people take this shit uh, very seriously. Some time ago we had a fiasco with Gaijin releasing a modern tank, and uh, some guy on the forum said, uh, actually, that's not accurate. Everybody said, prove it, and he did, by leaking confidential military documents. This is true, this actually happened, and he got in trouble. Wow. Yes. Damn. I remember this happening, and everyone was just like, that is such a Chad move that you risk being brought in for treason yeah. to prove your point and about that, a fucking free video game yeah, online. Yeah, hopefully make a game more realistic. I wonder if they listened to him since he released the actual fucking documents. <laughs> Somewhere, somewhere out there, there. Someone, someone is getting court-martialed court because of War Thunder, and all this <laughs> just so you can have an accurate damage model. I love this community. There's no help bars. This game operates on simulation. There is no such thing as the vehicle. The vehicle is a sum of its parts and the crew. You blow out the engine, it can't move. You pop the fuel, it starts burning. You snap off the elevator, and it won't stay in the air for long. You shoot the ammunition rack, it explodes, cooking everyone inside. You yes. get the armor at an angle, it ricochets right off. You get the idea. Either you blow it up or this you... Is why in That's world... pretty damn cool. Well, this is why in World of Tanks, I have really dive, dove into like the tanks and where their weak spots are. They're, they, that's the meta when it comes to like up above uh, Tier 6 tanks. You have to know where the weak spots are in order to get ahead. Because I have, there was one tank I literally shot in the, uh, I, I shot in the area that I thought where the ammo rack was, and all of a sudden, it, I, it didn't explode. I was like, what the hell? What, what happened? And then I shot it there again, and then it exploded. Turns out, you have to damage the ammo rack. That's the more arcadey style. It's like because mm. normally you'd pierce the arm, you'd pierce the armor and go into the ammo rack and it would explode. But they give the other player a chance to be like, oh, they hit your weak spot. Uh, if they hit you there again, you're pretty much dead. You better repair it or you better turn away. And yeah, they didn't repair it or turn away, and I shot them again and they exploded. Fun. I love committing murder on a battlefield kill the crew, whichever comes first. If you die in a tank, you get a dramatic kill cam reconstruction of whatever killed you. This might seem like eye candy or an opportunity oh, to learn, but in reality, it's an excuse to complain in all chat that the shock was bullshit and that Gaijin is a trash developer with a clear Russian bias. Repeat this often, and I assure you, the community will quickly accept you as one of their own. To play, you have to pick between Alliance or Horde. Choose your subclass, in this case, Italian, and queue up for a game. Italians are effective against the Swedish, but get defeated by the Chinese who win in every exchange, only losing to their natural predator. Escalators. That was a complete lie. Let's continue. Much like on Earth, there's a bunch of races, and you get to follow their historical military vehicle development across time. You start with the earliest tin cans and biplanes from World War II, and work your way up to modern times by researching and unlocking new vehicles from their respective tech tree. In combat, you get matched with similar vehicles according to their battle rating. Pro tip, if you queue into a game with an 11.0 jet fighter and a bunch of 1.0 pea shooters, you will be matched with other supersonic jet fighters. And if you actually dare to spawn in as one of your shitty little Wright Brother origami paper planes, you will have a very short but very memorable experience. Luckily, <laughs> air combat doesn't require a flight stick. I can pilot just fine with a mouse, and I've never used anything else. There's three different modes, arcade, realistic, and simulation. What's the difference? Arcade is realistic, but you can lead your shots with a crosshair. It's exactly the same with tank combat, except your crosshair changes color depending on your predicted penetration. Now, to paint a picture of what realistic is like, once, 
I flew for five minutes straight, fired my cannon at the enemy, and it jammed. Now the only way to unjam it is to manually land your plane on a friendly airstrip. So I flew back to the airfield. The match was over before I even deployed my landing gear. And simulation is just me crashing the same plane repeatedly. Sometimes I actually manage to take off before crashing back down again. You probably guessed it by now, but realistic and simulation is for certain kinds of people. People who believe that flying is real, which, by the way, there's no such thing. You're telling me that um, if you drive this car fast enough, it's gonna go up in the air and soar like a bird. Okay, sure thing, buddy. They literally put a scrolling wallpaper and rock the cabin and have you pretend you just moved across the world. Here's an idea. Next time you're in the middle of your flight, Try to stand up and leave. Tell the flight attendant that uh, you're pretty happy where you are and you would just like to get off. So um, if you don't mind, please stop the plane and let me get out. You'll notice them start to visibly shake, sweat, and foam at the mouth at the suggestion, giving you uh, all manner of excuses as to why that's not possible. So no, it doesn't really matter if you play arcade or realistic, as the very concept of flight itself is unrealistic. But if you're looking for a completely authentic experience what the hell are those things i see fly over my house every day all the time then it's just a simulation bro i guess so and a lot more calculated but there's nothing quite like it when you finally get in the air and you're like oh yeah so um how do i see things you click every key none of them work and then you realize oh i have to manually move my neck just like the real thing if you're watching this and currently slouching i hope you feel self-conscious right now and correct your posture before it's too late before they find your fossilized cadaver and conclude this was no human this was a troglodyte on the other hand if you actually want to have um, fun play arcade i do so does 90 percent of the people who play this game war thunder is much like chess everybody says they play it. everybody knows how to play it but nobody actually does it in public because if you do people will find out that actually you have no idea what you're doing sometimes i do great sometimes i don't but i clip those parts out because it's my video so what do you do in this game what do i do in this game well i queue up and then i ignore every objective and tunnel vision my way to getting as many sick frags as possible. Sometimes I like to fool the enemy by playing like shit they expect me to try. But instead, I die to my own poor decision making. Nothing matters except hitting first place on the scoreboard. Did we lose? Not my problem. I have 10 kills. I, uh, I made a discovery while recording this footage. Playing this game on public Wi-Fi is wild. I can reliably make my ping go to 999, uh, which makes for the most entertaining kind of footage. Also, I assure you, you will never Never have a dogfight as intense as this. When your latency is so high, it's measured in minutes. Uh, space and time have warped. They have lost all meaning. Every plane you target will zip to another position. Everyone is a stand user, including yourself. Shoot a plane, you get this. Shoot the open air, you get a kill. I check the scoreboard, and it's for a player who hasn't even spawned. Full disclosure, prior to this video, I never spent a cent on this game. I just stayed in low tiers. Everybody else can have their rat race. All I need is my shitty battle rank one swedish reserve plane because for some reason it comes with four goddamn turrets and i shred do i want to go up in rank do i want to grind up all the modifications hell no battle rank one baby i live here i'm here to tell you don't go for the carrot on a stick don't feel like there's an obligation to do or to grind or to buy anything i assure you if you let it this game will absolutely consume you don't let that happen because if you do you're gonna burn out and you're not gonna have any fun listen i got infinite resources right Right now. I've been to high BR for both ground and air battles, and I gotta say, holy shit, it's incredibly fun, but it's a completely different game. I had to bind like five new keys just to do this. Yeah, I love high-end plane combat, but eventually my nervous system can't keep up. Flying at speeds exceeding Mach 1 for prolonged periods of time uh, makes you go insane, and I find myself uh, returning to low rank just to decompress. Anyway, the point is, there's nothing you can buy to make you good at the game. If you get something better, so does everybody else. Except now you're dealing with more competent veteran players that understand the game inside and out. And that's really the defining characteristic between players. Knowledge. My plane's not Knowledge. particularly fast or strong, but it's built for turning. I understand the concept of trading potential energy for kinetic energy, and in an extended dogfight, I'll just wear down the enemy. Also, no, T-34s are not incredibly powerful. It's just that you're very likely to hit them at a slight tilt from the front. Unknowingly, shooting shells at effectively twice the normal length of plating, complaining that it doesn't penetrate, getting 
frustrated at the game and going to the forums to ask Gaijin exactly how long they plan to spend before they make a good game. Pro tip, you can't outsmart physics, but you can learn the design of each tank, and that makes all the difference. I'm not shooting blindly. I'm aiming for the tank underskirt, the viewing port, and the stockings. Don't laugh, these are technical terms. I memorize the location of ammunition racks for every tank in my battle rating so I can blow them directly. Obviously, that's complete bullshit, and I just get lucky, but I like to think otherwise. This game is easy to pick up, but it takes years to properly develop Stockholm Syndrome. War Thunder is a great meditative game because nothing really goes too fast, so you have time to think. Also, if you're playing this on company time, it is a perfect game for siphoning company time because by the time you drive up to the front line, it can easily take a minute. In that time, you can answer an email, open up some ransomware, drink a little coffee as it infects your data center, and just get back to goofing off all for an hourly wage. If you frequently have to leave your desk for more than five minutes, uh, play a bomber and uh, just keep climbing while AFK. You will single-handedly win the match and you don't even have to be there. One feature that unfortunately has been scrapped is the ability to come oh, friendly. that's the KV-2. The Russian Death Fridge. Fire. Back in the day, it was really funny because people would spawn in and scream PL, PL in team chat. And once I remember a guy replied with, oh, uh, I'm not Polish. I'm from the UK, to which they all responded by driving up to his engine block, shooting it, and driving away. I love this community. It's as they say. <laughs> PL, PL, no, UK. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you, you. You British cocksucker. <laughs> Truly tolerant society should not tolerate the British. Honestly, I am really glad oh. I passed those times. Because, personally, at the start of a match, I enjoy having tire tracks. In air combat, this can still happen, but more often than not, it's completely unintentional. Ouch. And, uh, I'm really sorry. You might ask yourself, Seth, in an open sky that's relatively empty of planes, how do you manage to collide with one from your own team? To that, I answer... Play War Thunder for free today. I am no longer asking. I have your family at gunpoint. And if you don't like your family, I don't. But I could. And all you have to do is download the game and start playing immediately. Sign up using my link today and you get a premium vehicle and a bunch of other things. And it's completely free. So what do you have to lose? Except the sands of limited time you have on this earth. Quickly passing through your fingers. Which could be better spent doing something more meaningful if you actually respected yourself enough to do that. Hey, let me tell you how I got here. I still remember the exact moment I broke. It was when I saw a particular gif of a She-Hulk attorney at law twerking. That's when I broke. That's when I said, fuck it, I'm done. Nothing matters. I'm selling out. And I took out every contract at the same time. Now, in retrospect, I was probably just a little bit impulsive. Withdrawal can do that to you. I know I said it was a video, but right now I'm finally, truly, fully unmedicated. Ritalin is a vampire, and it's gonna suck your will to live. It's gonna try and remind you every day you're nothing without it. And believe me, not a single single day has passed where I did not consider going back. But after so long, I finally realized I'm not sick. I was never sick. I just live in a sick society where someone's individual worth is measured only by the raw productive output they can spit out before being chewed up by the gears, irrespective of their own unique neurochemistry and spirit. Fuck being valuable. It's not for me. It's never been for me. It's for sustaining some misery machine. I'm sorry I never read the fine print of my birth, but I never signed up for this. Look, I, I don't care about the sponsorship anymore. My car highest priority inside my scattered hunter-gatherer brain is to somehow stitch everything together into a coherent ending. In truth, I really do like this game, but you know what I like even more? Getting paid to do so. In all seriousness, <laughs> if you have some situational awareness and actually help yeah. the team, you're gonna have a great time. Repairing, covering, supporting, and towing your teammates away to safety makes a huge difference because they're cannon fodder, and if the enemy shoots them, that means they're not gonna shoot you. Just like a doctor only treats the sick so he can beat the ever-living shit out of them himself. We help our team so they can help us rise to the top of the scoreboard. Also, there's custom skins. Your life is now slightly richer from this knowledge. In exchange, can somebody please tell me if there's some way to turn off Discord notifications? Because right now, I am having difficulties recording this footage. It says in this <laughs> briefing I'm supposed to talk about what I enjoy most about this game. What I enjoy most is hearing this.
That's pretty bad. It's beautiful. Each time I hear it, I know that something and someone out there in the open sky has been turned into human paste. I love it. Anyway, the yes. video is ending, so uh, please join me in prayer. Lord in heaven, please grant everyone online a present father figure in their lives so they can stop writing they cringe ass comments and making they cringe ass react videos unless you're as mongled you get a free pass because i actually met him at the same holiday resort good times <laughs> as always more content yeah, right now. so stay tuned you'd see I missed that. that what was that figure in their lives so they can stop writing they cringe ass comments and making they cringe ass react videos unless you're as mongled you get a free pass because i actually met him at the same holiday resort good times as always more you, you don't get it still yeah i get it i was so my brain was willing on the way he pronounced his name i was like it was mongled asman gold <laughs> like I was, well, never heard anybody pronounce his name that way well, eh. Hey, Seth, if you ever watch this video, just know, man, I, like, if if you think that we're cringe, I mean, you should see SS Sniper Wolf. Jesus Christ. And she's the most popular reaction channel right now. Over 30 million subscribers. Because, you know, hate to say it, but most of her subscribers are just thirsty boys that just want to fuck her. That's it. I really don't care for cringe as long as there's some people who enjoy it. That's my thinking on it, too. I mean, hell. Let people cringe. Cringe is life. Except, except the cringe. Embrace the chaos because that is the only way you are going to... You are going to succeed. Content to come, so stay tuned. Sorry for how slow it's been. It gets worse before it gets better. I know everybody adores those motivating tales of breaking addiction. And uh, saying that I quit, relapsed, and quit again doesn't really sound that great, but it's reality. And reality is, most people don't break their addictions. It's nice to hope for the best, but not everyone no. gets a happy ending. And uh, I'm not yeah. talking about myself. I'll be fine. Everybody hooked on Xanax? Yeah. <laughs> Lamau. Lol, even. Uh, my sincerest condolences. You are screwed. A warm thanks yeah. to the many members of the Merchants Guild generously yeah. funding and bankrolling these videos my across my Zanax. multiple manic, bipolar, bad bitch breakdowns. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good one. I'm sorry, but this shit's way cooler than tanks. Fight me. No, I, I, I agree. <laughs> like, this is a lot more engaging than the world of tanks. For me, it's just the, the camaraderie you, that me and Jake had playing that game. I've always wanted to have, like, teammates to do a flight game with, but War Thunder is really one of the only options, and it's not very good, in my opinion. I'm telling, like, I don't, what you don't understand is the way it controls is bad. There is no learning it or fixing it. It is just bad. It's not a good flight control scheme. 
And like other people can do it, but I can't have fun flying planes like that. Kick-ass footage for sure. Okay. <laughs> Pretty kick ass. Yeah. Well, well, you, Seth. you played uh, No Man's Sky on PC, right? Yes. So you know how the ships in that control? Uh huh. That's how this game controls, but worse. Mm. So it's not good for flight. It's basically like point and click, like when it should feel like flying a plane, if that makes sense. Yeah. Even with a controller? You, you don't I don't think you can play with controller because there are too many functions you have to bind in the game I mean I think it is on console maybe but I don't know it is this this is maybe they have a menu and console where you hold like the d-pad or something to do all those extra functions or something I have no idea maybe but just looking through the control scheme and playing the tutorial I was like yeah fuck this this controls like absolute ass and there doesn't seem to be any way to fix that and I was asking other people who play it, and they're like, yeah, the controls are bad. And I was like, then why do you play it? And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, okay, fair enough. Enjoyment, I guess? I don't know. I guess some people can look past horrible controls. So I cannot. I don't like fighting a game to play it. All right. Well, War Thunder. That's why it took me it three years to finally start Alien Isolation, because it was just fighting the controls until I finally figured out how to fix it the other day. Now I've played halfway through it because I don't have to fight it anymore. <laughs> Only have to fight the alien now, which is fine. That's the point of the game. Yeah, that's kind of the point. So, all right. War Thunder, if y'all want to play it, y'all know where to go. I mean, check out Seth's code that he has in uh, the description of his video. And if you want to see more from Seth, I mean, head on down to his channel by clicking his name and check out any of the other, like, massively awesome videos that he has like the warlord like the space warlord organ trading or yeah yeah it honestly there's so many that he has dude his uh space station uh 13 one still cracks me up to this day thanks boom explosion you remember mm. gosh anyway yeah thanks again everybody until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Take care, everyone. Peace.